you look at the very earliest descriptions of magic. Magic, in its earliest form, is often referred to as the art. I believe that this is completely literal. I believe that magic is art, and that art, whether that be writing, music, sculpture, or any other form, is literally magic. Art is, like magic, the science of manipulating symbols, words or images, to achieve changes in consciousness. The very language of magic seems to be talking as much about writing or art as it is about supernatural events. A grimoire, for example, the Book of Spells, is simply a fancy way of saying grammar. Indeed, to cast a spell is simply to spell, to manipulate words, to change people's consciousness. And I believe that this is why an artist or writer is the closest thing in the contemporary world that you are likely to see to a shaman. We have within us infinite creativity. We come into this world with no conditioning as essentially divine beings. And slowly, over the course of our life, we forget that because we go through parental conditioning, we go through school, we go out into the working world, we have peers who condition us. All of these things layer on more and more stories about who we are and who we can be. So, how do we take control of this? There are two ways to do this. They are symbolized by the Latin words solve and coagula. Solve means to dissolve. And so, deconditioning. The initial processes of magic are meant to decondition mind, to let go of all the stories that we think are us. And the way that that's done is meditation. Coagula means to to coagulate, to reform into a new form once we've deconditioned ourselves. And the way that that's done is by ritual magic. That's one way. To Solve, meditation, or letting go of who we think we are, letting go of everything that keeps us from the infinite, the divine source, and coagula, or re-coagulating into a new form that better suits our will for this incarnation. Magic, right? And ritual magic and ceremonial magic are only one form of magic. I can also include within that any willed action which reformulates a new personality. Any willed action which puts you more in line with who you know you are, your true self. Magic is not about getting your way. It is not about imposing your will on other people or getting an advantage. What it will do is more more deeply integrate you with your true self, and more deeply integrate you with the universe, and more deeply align you with your true purpose for this existence. And the more that you do that. The more that you let go of things that are not in line with your true will, and the more that you embrace and discipline yourself to enact things that are your true will, the better life gets. The less friction there is in life, and the more playful the universe becomes, the more magical the universe becomes. When you're in the slipstream of your purpose, your higher purpose, your higher self, the universe becomes magical. Doors open when they're supposed to open. The buses run on time. You end up being in the right place at the right time always. You meet the right people to be in your life to support you in what you're doing. I found out that if you do these things that you're told by Alistair Crowley, by Wilson, by all these people we read and all these people we've been consuming, but we don't do it. If you actually do what they say, things happen. Things occur exactly as it's described, and we can all do it. This is part of human experience. It's a part of human experience that has been described to us for thousands and thousands of years, but for the last 200, has been hidden and made occult. So these things happen. Magic works. And when I started doing the comic, I found that you could actually make magic happen by writing things and changing the operating system of the universe. It works, and I'm here to tell you to try it when you go home tonight because it fucking works. And what happens if we all do it? Everyone in this room.
decides to take control of reality. I'm talking about reality. I'm talking about quantum physics. I'm talking about taking control of things from the quantum level up, from the molecular level up, and it works. This magic works. Human beings are co-partners with deity in the project of being. This is the basis of all magic. You see, in a Christian context, magic is heresy because it implies that man can command God to act. In other words, that in some strange way, the magician compels nature to behave as the magician desires. In Hermeticism, it isn't so much put in terms of compel, but the idea is that humanity, human beings, men and women of great spiritual accomplishment are co-partners in the project of being, and that God, as it were, stepped off the stage of creation with it only 90% completed and the rest is left in the hands of his brother. The Hermetica actually refers to humanity as the brother of God. So it's a completely different attitude toward being human. It's an empowering attitude. 